Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This time I'm going to show you how to find and complete the Jojon Shrine, which is located in the Cranel Peak Cave in central Hyrule. When you enter this cave, there will be a few Horriblins in this room. You don't necessarily have to deal with them, but I do recommend it. They drop some good stuff and they create strong weapons with their parts. When you enter this chamber, there will be a ton of rocks for you to break. So you want to get out your sledgehammer, some sort of rock breaking weapon, and then start making your way around to the left. And in this chamber, you will see the shrine. If you have Yonobo at this point in the game, very helpful. Just rely on him. He'll take care of it for you. All right, so this is a proving ground shrine. And as always, all of your gear is stripped away from you and you have to use whatever they give you. This shrine is sort of based on the rotation mechanic, but you can kind of ignore it for the most part. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna deal with this construct over here. And the reason I choose this guy is because he has a rusty halberd for a weapon, which is very, very helpful. You want to then equip the rusty halberd and then take out the fuse ability and then fuse the Zonai construct horn to the weapon. This will give us some extra damage. We're gonna come over here, deal with this construct, and then we are going to get over to the other platform after we pick up all this one's gear. Make sure to fuse the horn to another weapon. This way you get some more damage out of that. For this object right here, you want to take out the ultra hand, target the spike, and then just lay it flat. And then if you'd like, you can detach it. And then of course, detach the stabilizer from the flame emitter and then fuse the flame emitter to a weapon. I highly recommend taking another rusty halberd for this. This way you have plenty of weapons to work with in the shrine. Go ahead and fuse the flame emitter to that rusty halberd. And now it's time to kill the rest of the constructs. So you wanna come over here to this cog wheel, use recall to rewind it. And then you're gonna come up, you're gonna to turn to the right, and then you're gonna deal with this archer who has some flame arrows. Nothing to worry about with your flame emitter spear. Nothing to worry about at all. You're then gonna come over here, and then this is the strongest enemy in the shrine. As you can see here, he takes a lot of hits to deal with, so just keep going at him with your spear as best you can. If one breaks, just take out the other. If you can get a flurry rush on him using a backflip, that will allow you to deal a ton of damage with the spear. The Zonite Sword is a strong weapon, so be sure to use Fuse with the Soldier Construct Horn, level two, with that weapon. And then the next construct that we got to deal with is actually on the bottom floor. So we have to jump down here. And then I do recommend uh, removing this little object here. This way it doesn't accidentally turn on on you. But if you're like me and you didn't turn it off before you did that, you can actually use it to cook the construct for you and be done with the shrine a little bit quicker. But that's it. If you've been following along with my shrine guides this whole time, this will be your final shrine. I won't say how many there are because I don't want to spoil that number. But if you followed along from the start and you've watched all these videos, thank you very much for the support. And I hope I've been helpful to you. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, please subscribe to the channel because more guides are still coming. If you are interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the join button below this video. You can also leave a super thanks by clicking the heart icon below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. The links for those are in the description below. As always, I'll speak Johnny Cage. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.